Today we're gonna to be comparing three different types of ankle holsters, all the way from the super expensive bug bite holster to the mid-priced generic Amazon dual strap ankle holster to the actual cheapest neoprene fake fur lined ankle holster. I think this was 10 bucks, 20 bucks, and I think this is like around $40. So these are the three. I'm gonna walk you through the pros and cons of all of them. And I'm gonna tell you which one's my favorite and the answer might actually surprise you. So um, let's start with the bug bite holster. So the bug bite holster is sort of considered like the Cadillac of ankle holsters. Um, it's got this interesting zipper closure uh, with a Velcro loop. And then it also has this uh, top retention strap that helps to secure it to your leg. Now, um, this comes in three different sizes depending on your calf size. So you wanna measure your calf size and actually this thing runs a little small. So you actually wanna buy it uh, one size bigger than you actually, uh, wh whatever their, their subscription says. You can always cinch it down tighter, uh, but I would definitely get one size bigger because I actually bought this one size bigger and even this is uh, a little small. Um, I think I got, this one's the large and I think I have a 14 and a half inch calf. And so even with the large, this was, uh, I'm supposed to be a medium, I bought the large. Even with this, it fits pretty snugly. So I'm gonna show you how, how, how it secures on. So, take a look here. Looking at my hairy legs. So you just sort of slip this on like a little booty. Uh, you're supposed to bring this all the way up to the top. Let me actually show you here. All the way up to the top here above your calf. Bring this to the top. Cinch this down. Zipper this shut. And then secure that. You can see here, it even has a uh, extra pouch back here for your uh, spare magazine. And the actual gun See here, let me actually move this a little higher. So the gun, which has been safety checked, see here, fits right in here. And so it's actually supposed to fit on the inside of your leg. So you're supposed to wear it on the opposite leg, uh, but I'm just, you know, wearing it on my right leg for demonstration purposes. And then you can sort of fit this over tight. Let's see here. Let's see how this looks. You can see it shows a little bit, but you know, just if you were to see this on the inside of your leg, you just think the guy has an extra jacked calf. It's kind of hard to tell that he's wearing anything, but once you're ready to deploy it, get it in, pull it out. So you can see it's, you know, I, to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, as you can see, it's super tight. Even with this extra large size, I have to slip it on. It's hard to get to the gun. Um, I'm just not a fan. I think it's um, I think it's over engineered and just uh, not a huge fan of this particular holster. So, all right. So the next cheapest one. Uh, this is around twenty bucks. These are all sort of like these dual strapped. They have these like extra strap up here to hold to strap it above your calf. And the whole purpose of it is to prevent it from sliding down your leg. So let me show you how that works. I'll put this one on the left leg so that way you can see sort of how it works. So this goes up top and then this is supposed to strap over your sock. And then you take the firearm, fit it in. So you can see here how that fits. And then let's make it raise this a little bit. Strap this down. Let's see how that fits. So you can see, you can barely tell. You know, if you were wearing a pair of boots, you know, with these, I'll show you. You 
you wouldn't even be able to tell that I'm carrying anything, but once I'm ready, boom. That was a lot quicker draw. You can see it's not super tucked in. The other, the problem with the bug bite is it's so high up on the calf and where it's situated that the draw stroke is super difficult. So with something like this, where it's a little lower, I like that this is a button retention strap. It makes it super easy to get to your firearm. Just quickly pop, boom. And so this, this one's my second favorite actually. And so it's the second cheapest and second favorite. So, so far, these holsters have gone in reverse order of which one's my favorite, which is, you know, actually the grand reveal, this particular, this super cheap $11 holster is actually my favorite out of the three. Um, if you've ever even thought about getting into ankle carry, and for someone like me, works in an office, doesn't, tucks in his shirt, is not trying to have a firearm exposed, this one's actually been my favorite. Um, this strap is a little cheap, but you could always replace that. But this one, I actually, it's so lightweight, so comfortable, I barely feel it. You can see it tucks in super tight. Has the same, same hidden features of the other holster, but because it's got so much less fabric, it's so much easier to put on. I'm not sliding it up my leg like the way the the bug bite holster was. And same quick draw. Now, would I like the button strap on this one? Absolutely. And I'm sure if once this one gives away, I'll probably end up replacing this with a button strap. But right now, I mean, it's so comfortable. The, the actual, the, the fabric underneath this actually does a really good job of not binding to my leg, not making me sweat too much. Um, the Velcro retention is actually really, really strong. It doesn't move around at all. For $11, there's no better way to get into ankle carry holster. Um, it also does have an extra pouch back here for a spare magazine or a tourniquet if you were interested. And so now, you know, between that, you've got pretty complete package all on your ankle and you are ready to go. So out of all of the holsters, the cheapest one, actually my favorite. Hope you enjoy.